Folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and this time we're going to look at a game called Versus Stroke and Match Golf, and uh, this was commonly known as Versus Golf, but uh, the game ROM and the uh, boot up screen for MAME says it's uh, Stroke and Match Golf, so I'm going to call it Versus Stroke and Match Golf. Yeah, even the marquee just says Versus Golf, and the NES port was just called Golf. But uh, this is this is the same game basically. Uh, stroke and match pertains to what uh, you can choose stroke, which is just one player uh, trying to uh, you know get the ball in the hole. <laughs> um, match is uh, you play against a computer opponent. You can also play a one player versus two player uh, simultaneous or a. Uh, you know, alternating turns or whatever against each other but um, you have a I like the uh, interface with this I don't really like that there's kind of a black hole as out of bounds <laughs> but um, the way that you swing is you press the A button three times and you press once to start your swing you press again to uh, for the highest you know for the amount of power that you're going to have with your swing and you press a third time to try to match it up with that little white spot on that meter that'll uh, make it more straight and if you uh, make it stop before or after that white spot then you can hook or slice the ball and there will be times when you want to do that um, there can be wind factor that can push your ball and we'll uh, go ahead and get started we're just going to do a stroke play and uh, there is constant music during the game which I don't really care for ooh almost made it to the green just went a little bit past but I don't think a golf game should have constant music. Now, some games, um, the computer will select a club for you. Um, it won't do that here. I mean, you'll auto your automatic uh, or your default club will be uh, one wood. There, I got par. But it it won't change it you have to do that and you do that by pressing up and down there I gave it some serious uh, um, was it slice to uh, move it to the right and clear the trees if the ball lands on trees it'll be considered out of bounds ooh just st stayed in bounds there But notice how much wind I have. I have a lot of wind b blowing to the left. 11 miles per hour. So you definitely need to uh, atone for that. There we go. And there on the green you'll see the arrows pointing determine uh, which, you know, which way the ball is going to roll if it's on a <laughs> if it's on a hill. But again, you have three uh, presses of the button to do. One to start your swing, one for one to stop it at, and determine how much power that's going to be, and then the third time, uh, whether it's going to be straight on or hook or slice. You know, if you if you pass the. Uh, the green by just a little bit you're gonna want a, a a wussy little club like the sand wedge or something yeah you'll you'll have a certain amount of strokes you can have and uh, you bump that that up a little bit when you get a par or a better and when you run out of strokes, you have to spin to continue.
but uh, this was this was a fairly popular uh, arcade game, the versus version. Whoa, are you kidding me? An eagle! That was awesome! Wow! <laughs> that was awesome! But, uh, ooh, just barely made it to land. This plays uh, 18 holes. And like I said, the uh, uh, match is you playing against a computer opponent and he's wearing red. Notice that I look like uh, I'm supposed to be Luigi or something. I don't, I don't think this is supposed to be Mario or Luigi. The uh, computer opponent has red, so he looks sort of like he's supposed to be Mario, but these guys look way too big to be Mario. And you'll get an indication that you have a chance at a birdie try if you are on the green and uh, you are too below. There, I got it. <laughs> and I'm still uh, still playing. Look at the size of those two big sand traps I have to get around. But again, when you run out of uh, uh, strokes, you'll have to uh, spend a continue. Now, if I if I don't get it get it in the hole on this swing, then uh, yeah, I have to spend a continue. Whoop! Water hazard. Crap. Oh no, I guess not. I thought maybe I would have to. Maybe they'll let me finish this uh, hole first, and then I'll uh, then I'll need to uh, continue. Yeah. Bogey. Yep, I gotta spend a continue. I'll continue once, but I will uh, eventually show. <coughs> excuse me. I will eventually show you at least uh, snapshots of the remaining holes. And once you play all 18 holes, you will get a final score, and then you start all the holes over again. But again, you're given a certain amount of strokes to begin with, and you replenish those strokes by getting par or better. I definitely saw this in the arcades on the Versus cabinet. The, uh, the NES port is a little bit different. It's not stroke and match. Um, you can play... You, you can play the same uh, uh, by yourself or against the uh, computer. Um, there is no music, which I prefer. I don't want... I don't really want music in my golf game. I want to hear birds chirping or frogs croaking or, you know, nature sounds rather than music constantly playing. I find it kind of annoying. I definitely had this for the uh, Nintendo, the uh, NES. It's it's definitely uh, worth playing. Very uh, simplistic, and I I think there should be a little bit more detail on the out of bounds area instead of just a black hole. <laughs> I like that little motion he makes for all right when he gets the birdie. But uh, I'll do a couple more versus games after this, and then I'll uh, get back to uh, some requests. But um, I enjoy this game. It's kind of fun. But really, really don't care for the uh, music constantly playing. Oh, good. Got right on the green and, and close to the hole. Chance for another birdie. And I got it. Yeah, this is a decent game of uh, golf for its time. But 
But yeah, the first time I, I saw this, I could have sworn that that was supposed to be Mario and Luigi as the golfers, but I don't think it is. I mean, they're they're way too too big. <laughs> you know, Mario himself would actually have his own uh, golf game for the NES. There was a... Uh... Oh, my, man, that's going to be tough to make. Can I? Eh, no. Crap. There was a uh, alternate ROM version of this game. It's still st stroke and match golf, but <clears throat> it lets you play as a, a woman. I think I declined to continue here. I like the uh, the setup, the controls to this game, but I just wish there wasn't uh, music while I was playing, and I wish that they would have more detail on the out of bounds area. That's uh, versus Stroke and Match Golf by Nintendo for the uh, versus cabinet in 1984. And uh, here's a look at the rest of the holes. There's the 11th hole, the 12th hole. Very short. Uh, there's the uh, 13th hole. And the 14th hole. The uh, 15th hole. Uh, 16th hole. The 17th hole. And finally, the 18th hole. And again, you start start them all over after you get your final score. And uh, here's the ending sequence. Hole out, it says. That means you've gone through all of them. And I, I cheated to get that score, sorry. I got like infinite strokes or something like that. I can't remember. But then you start everything over. See? But that is stroke and match golf. Now let's have a quick look at match play. And you just compete against a computer player. And uh, the computer player will wear uh, red. Oh, just, just missed out of bounds. And there's the red player. They always, they're always gonna beat you. <laughs> they know exactly what club to use and how much hook or slice to give. That is stroke and match golf. And uh, here is the uh, alternate version with women. Let's see, I'm uh, one gal wears white, just like uh, the man did in. Uh, the other version of stroke, stroke and match golf. And then the second player, the the other gal, wears red. See? But uh, there is the main screen for the NES version. And you get to choose from one play, stroke play, two-player stroke play, and two-player what or match play. Well, that was versus golf by Nintendo in 1984 for the Nintendo versus cabinet. This is Crazy Clam Ready saying thanks for watching uh, versus stroke and match golf, and I will catch you later in the future with another video. Y'all have a good one, folks. I'll see you later. Bye bye.